everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Vanessa and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make DIY heat mats. And in the next clip I'll show you all the tools that I got from Reptile Supply Co. So we have the tool to clamp it, scissors, electrical insulation tape, grommets and extra connectors, the connector cords, a hole puncher, and the heat tape. And I'm just going to show you a glimpse of one that I had already made. So let's get started. First, you're going to take your hole punch and punch a hole through the copper on each side. As you can see, I placed it pretty close to the bottom, but made sure I pierced through the copper. And on the other side, without the holes, you're going to add some electrical insulation tape, just so that you don't shock yourself, because you don't want the copper edges to be exposed. As you can see, I covered it on both sides. The tape does have to overlap a little bit over the edge and kind of cover that copper edge. As you can see, I just line it up with a little bit overlapping and fold it over. And that's how it looks. Remember, that's the side with no holes. So there we have the other side. Now here are the connector cords. We're just going to stretch them out. You can rip the wires apart as far as you want all the way to the outlet, but I prefer to just leave enough space so that I can insert these little connectors. So you can just slide those connectors in between the plastic. Just make sure that it is in between, once again. Now, as you can see, I've inserted both sides. You don't have to do them at the same time. You can do one at a time, which is what I'm doing. These are the grommets. You can see one side is a little bit longer than the other. So you're going to take the longer side first and insert through the hole, making sure you put it through the connector as well so it doesn't slide out of the plastic. And then take the shorter side. Make sure you hold that grommet in there because it'll just fall out. And it just sits right on top of there. Then you're going to take your tool. I forgot what this is called. Let's just call it the clamping tool. You need to make sure you squeeze it down all the way until it clicks. It's not very hard to squeeze, but doing it with one hand was a little difficult. And as you can see, it flattens the little grommets and it holds the wire in there. And I like to do it twice just to be safe. Maybe it's just OCD, I'm not sure. <laughs> And there you have it. The wire is connected. And then this is just me doing the other side. I figured I would show it just in case you didn't catch it the first time. Sometimes you might struggle. You might have to try to stab it a few times to get it in there. Once again, take the longer side of the grommet. And then the shorter side on top. Again, hold the grommet in there or it'll fall out. Slide your little tool on there and clamp it down. And I think I'll do it another time in this clip. You don't have to. One time works perfectly fine. And there you have it. Both sides are clamped down and secure. Now you're gonna take your electrical insulation tape. I just cut the pieces smaller. You can use a bigger piece if you want. You just need to make sure that all of the metal is covered as well as the copper edges. So you're going to have to overlap quite a bit to get down to the metal, but make sure you cover the hole as well. And just squeeze it together, make sure it's all stuck so it doesn't come apart. Although, no matter how hot this heat mat is, the tape stays on quite well. Now just applying tape to the other side. And 
and folding it over. Secure the tape. I had to cut my pieces a little bit smaller because I messed up a couple of them, but they do send bigger squares than what I was using. <laughs> Now, I plugged in the heat mat, as you can see, and I'm just going to take my heat gun, or temp gun, whatever you like to call it, and I'm showing that the floor was just 70 degrees, but the heat mat had already heated up to about 100 in just a minute or two. And this is the aluminum foil tape that I use to secure the heat mats under the tanks. You're looking at the shelf, and I'm pointing along how I tape the aluminum foil or use the aluminum foil tape to secure the heat mat as well as the probe. So that's the tank and this is the thermostat I believe it's called. As you can see that wire is the probe that's attached to the thermostat and you can control the temperature using that. There's a little dial on the back and that's me showing that inside the tank it's not going to get as warm as under the tank but as you can see, it is starting to warm up. And that's how you make your DIY heat mats. Um, I'll link everything below. If you have any questions, just leave it in the comments. Thank you. Bye.